Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, I think we can finally probably start making steel. So, uh, I've actually gone up two levels. I'm level 22 now. Uh, I started recording when I hit level 21, thinking we'd get to steel, and I discovered that we couldn't. Um, because I still needed more stuff. So I figured, well, I'm just going to scratch that recording, and we'll start over here. So, uh, crafted bows have increased durability. Well, yeah, let's just keep going with the arrow damage for now. Uh, and then we go to the tech tree. So basically what I discovered was we needed a concrete furnace in order to smelt steel because it wasn't working in the stone furnace. Um, and I'm assuming to make concrete, we need a cement mixer. Um, yes, so uh, let's learn concrete mixer and concrete furnace. And then um, that still leaves us one point. I think we'll go back to tier two. Uh, I'm just trying to wonder if I should do the steel axe or if we should... See, I don't know what it's going to require to make platinum um, ingots is the thing. So I guess I don't want to put a point into steel axes if it, if it turns out we can make a platinum axe after I get steel. So let's hold off on that. Uh, however, we are working on uh, leather armor. So I got the chest piece and the leg piece. So let's do the head piece next for this next point. Okay, and then we're going to pull out the... Oh, there's a huge windstorm going on too, by the way, in case that wasn't already apparent. Uh, so let's pull out our textiles bench. And we're just going to set that down temporarily. And we're going to need leather and fiber, I believe. So let's grab some fiber out of here and some leather out of here. Um, oh, actually, I guess I have some leather in my inventory already. And let's make ourselves leather head armor. Boom. Okay, that's done. Um, there's not an option to right-click and wear, huh? Okay. So we'll put that on. Very good. We look kind of goofy, but hey, better protection, right? Okay, let's pick this thing back up and put it away. Because we don't have... We don't need to keep it out and it's taking up a lot of space. Um, actually, no. This goes in there, that goes in there, and this goes in here. Thank goodness we don't have a wooden house anymore, my word. Severe winds. Doesn't look like those trees over there are being affected by severe winds. Is it just blowing on my house? What the hell, man? <laughs> those trees are calm out there. Really? Seriously? See, those trees are calm too. It's just blowing on my house. That's hacks, man. Okay, so, um, first order business. Cement mixer thing. So, let's go into here. And to make a cement mixer, we need all of this stuff here. So wood, stone, iron ingots, rope, and iron nails. Let's get her done. Uh, so I got some iron ingots here, uh, but I have another stack of iron ore here. Let's just go ahead and, and turn those um, into more iron ingots because we're probably going to need that. Uh, let's grab some of the nails out of here for now. Okay, and it said we needed stone too and wood, so let's just grab a stack of wood and a stack of stone. Okay, where does that put us? Um, we just need rope and a little more iron ingots. Okay, we have rope in here. Uh, where's that at? Right here. How much rope do we need? We need eight rope. We have four. Let's make some more. How many of these can we make? Eleven? Okay, we only need four more for now, so let's just make what we need. Are you done out there? That is so funny that it's not blowing the trees. If I look out the door, does it blow the trees? I mean, yeah, I guess it kind of is, huh? Weird. Weird, man. Weird. Okay, so let's get our ropes out of here. And our iron ingots out of here. And we should be able to make a cement mixer. Boom, baby. All right. Very cool. We got ourselves a cement mixer. Okay, now, uh, how big is this thing? Oh, it's pretty good size, I'd say. Uh, we could probably replace the stone furnace with the concrete furnace once we make it, I'm guessing. So let's just stick this here for now. 
I'm probably going to have to do a second floor in our little starter shack. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with not doing that. Okay, so to make cement, we need tree sap, stone, and silica ore. Okay, so let's see here. Ah, oh, tree sap. We have one. <laughs> okay, what's this? That's organic resin. Uh, Alright, what do we need to make tree sap? We need... Oh, just sticks. Okay. We can do that. Uh, sticks are in here. We don't actually have very many sticks, do we? Uh, we might have to go... Stick farming. Let's put in there what we do have. Okay, and then we'll just make the maximum amount of tree sap. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm going to put this ingot back in here for now. And let's put this... Uh, you're going to need stone. So let's just put... Like, two... How about three? We'll put three stacks of stone in here. Ish. Whoops. Yeah, we'll put three full stacks of stone in there. And uh, put the rest of this back in here. All right, what else did you need? Uh, you need silica ore. Okay, we've got some silica ore. We're not a ton, but we got this much. So we'll put that in. We can always go get more of that if we need to. It grow. It, well, it appears, I should say, <clears throat> at the base of the of the mountains and stuff. Um, okay, so we've got one tree sap. Okay, that means we can make one concrete. Well, that's cool. Okay, how, ma how many do we need to make the forge thingamadoodle? We need 20 concrete mix. Okay. And we're going to need more rope and more ingots, too. And some epoxy. I think we have... Yeah, we got epoxy here. Let's split this in half and do an alt-drag to take one more off of that stack. And we'll load up the 12 epoxy in here. We have to make the concrete. Let's get eight more rope going. So what do we need for that? We just need fiber. Okay, so let's grab um, more fiber out of here. And make 57. Well, no, let's not make 57. Let's make what we need, eight. Because who knows what else might we might need. Okay, that takes care of that. Oh, I got some raw meat. Let's put that in here to make fat, animal fat. Because then I can make my creamed corn, which is pretty good food at the moment for us. Oh, we got a fruit salad just about ready to go bad. Let's eat it right now. And we'll eat a creamed corn and some meat. We'll put the uh, spoiled food. I'm just kind of keeping that in the skinning bench for now. Uh, along with this stuff here. Okay. Um, so, let's grab the rope out of here. Rope, rope, rope. Dope on a rope. Rope on a dope. Soap on a rope. Ah, I don't know why I said that. Okay, and then we need 12 iron ingots. So, we have 19. Let's do this, and then we'll do an alt drag until we have 12. And those can go back in there for now. Uh, let's actually turn this off, too. Okay, so we have everything we need for the furnace except for the 20 concrete mix. So what do we what do we still need here? Um tree sap. That's right. So to do the tree sap, we're gonna have to go get some sticks. I've got oh well, actually I got 28 there. Um let's see. If we put the tree sap there, how many can we make? 16. Okay, still not quite enough. Alright, so I need to go out and get some sticks. Um, and I think the axe is the best tool to use for sticks. Because the sickle is more for fiber. So let's just cut the rest of these little saplings down. My island has been deforested and 80% of that deforestation has been from storms. Not from me. 
Uh, I got a bunch of burned trees here, too. I guess we can get charcoal from this, right? Oh, yep, we sure can. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I don't really need charcoal, but that was interesting. Um, okay, so yeah, let's get this stick here and this stick here. So we have three... Uh, yeah, we have three living trees left on our island. <laughs> That's terrible, man. Uh, we'll see. If, we'll see how long those last. We'll play like a little mini game with our remaining time on this prospect, and see if those three trees will last for the whole rest of the time. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, uh, let's go over to this wooded. How many sticks do I have now? Now oh, we got two hundred. Okay, let's. Go back in here into our mortar and pestle. Throw all of those in there and then do a max 60 tree sap. Okay. And then let's get our 17 concrete out of here and put that in here. And we are just three shy of being able to make the concrete furnace. So with that in mind, uh, let's go get some more sticks. I mean, I'm sure we have enough now, but while we're waiting, we might as well grab a few more here. I have mined all of the iron and pretty much copper out of all of the mines I've discovered so far, except for the one that was way to the southeast, like over a day's journey away from here. That one doesn't count, though. So, um... But, you know, once we get the steel pick, then we'll be able to go back into all of those mines and grab the platinum and aluminum out of them. Uh, which is what we're going to do after we get that pick made. And then we'll see if it's possible for us to make the platinum pick now or if we still have other roadblocks in the way. So we will cross that bridge when we come to it. The iron tools haven't been bad, though. I mean, they're a significant improvement over the... The stone ones for sure. But I'm... I suspect we're going to need a lot more concrete for stuff moving forward. Building and whatnot. Um, though I was planning on making my base out of stone. The, the final build base. So I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, so that that's why I'm getting so many sticks. Because... We're going to turn almost all of this into fiber. Oh, inventory's full already? My goodness. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Okay. So, let's hang on to uh, two stacks of sticks if we need them for other things. And the rest of these, we're going to shift uh, control click into here. And then again make a metric ass ton of tree sap okay now uh, let's take the tree sap that we currently have which is right here and we're gonna throw that into here and we're going to oh we need more silica ore Ooh. yes we do all right let's go get some silica ore um, actually hold on before we go let me drop a couple things off here uh, we don't need to be carrying these nails around with us um, or this charcoal. I've got the standing torch and the ramps and stuff in my inventory because one of you guys told me on the comments that I can use ramps and caves to get up to the ores that are hard to reach. So that's why I have that stuff. Okay, let's take a hit off of our oxite bag thingamadoodle. And we just have to kind of run along the... Um, side of the, the mountains. That was weird. I kind of saw myself running before I started running. Uh, to get more silica. silica. Now, where's my arrow? One thing I've noticed about putting these guys on the tanning bench is that you don't get your arrow back. But you do if you skin them. But I don't even see my arrow. 
All right, let's see what's going on here. Nope, maybe the maybe the arrow broke. I don't know. That's perhaps what happened there. Okay, let's put all of this, this, and this in there, and the f uh, meat can go in here for more animal fat because we like animal fat. Max craft. Um. Okay, so. I think we're good to go there. All right, let's go find some silicon. So, which way should we go? Which way should we go? Let's just go this way. Silicon is not something I've, or silica, I guess, is not something I've gotten a lot of. Just got uh, a little bit here and there, uh, but I haven't concentrated on mining it. So now we are going to get some in quantity. Okay, we got ourselves a pretty nice load of silica. Get out of here. What are you doing in my property? Um, here, let's... Uh, Take him to the bench. Ooh, now we're encumbered. Is there a rabbit in my house? No, he's on the on the other side there. Uh, okay, uh, so let's do this guy here, and then yeah, this. So I got all of this silica, except for I'm not supposed to be putting it in there. Well, actually, let's put. One stack in there, because I think that needs it for some things, too. But we're going to put the majority of it in here. Okay, cool. So we should be able to make a bunch of concrete. I'm going to grab... Um, well... Let's grab two more stacks of stone out of here. And we got 86 tree sap. Um, Where's the thing? There it is. I got a little turnaround in my own house for a second there. Happens in real life, too. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> let's split this in half and we'll keep some of it for other things that might need it. And we'll put the rest of this in here too. All right. And let's make ourselves 45 concrete. All right. Go for it. How much XP do we get per thing? 72. Okay. Uh, I picked up some watermelons along the way. So let's make some more of this delicious fruit salad. Okay. And we're going to need to re eat anyways okay so you should have the remaining concrete that we need to make the concrete forge and there we go boom wow what a bunch of work <laughs> what a bunch of work that was okay let's grab this thing and i want to see how um how big it is um i'm assuming we can still we can smelt anything in the forge so let's look at okay so yeah it's here let's just set it down for a second all right so can we smelt yeah we can smelt anything in here okay so that means we don't need this guy anymore uh, so let's grab all the stuff out of him or her because it could be a female forge you never know i mean seriously okay get rid of that too okay now let's pick up the concrete forge and we're gonna put it in the corner where its predecessor was there we go look at that okay finally now what we should be able to do is grab all of this steel bloom and throw it in here Titanium, platinum. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be able to smelt platinum in here. Amazing. Guys, we might be able to get right to our platinum pick. Um, But let's smelt all this steel. And we're going to... I think we're just going to burn wood in here. Because I think I need to save the coal for gunpowder and stuff later on. There we go. Steel ingots. Oh, man, it is a beautiful thing. We are moving up in the world, baby. 
up in the world. Okay, so how many steel ingots do we need to make the steel pick? Which, do we do that in here? Oh, where do, oh no, we do that in the anvil. Okay, so the steel pick is going to require six ingots and four epoxies. All right, so let's grab some of this epoxy here. Uh, we'll split the stack and split it again and grab whoop, that right there. So hopefully all I have to do is make the steel pick. We'll go mine some platinum and then we can jump right to the platinum tools. I, I think. I mean, I hope that's what it'll let me do. That's, that's what I'm hoping I can do. We'll see. We shall see if it's going to actually let me do that. Now, I also have a bunch of gold, and we can smelt that in here. Yeah, so let's throw the gold in there, too, because it wouldn't smelt in the in the stone furnace. Um, okay. And I don't know if we use copper ore for anything by itself but why don't we keep one raw thing there i mean i already got a shit ton of copper ingots though uh, but let's go ahead and smelt the rest of that too oh so it's prioritizing the copper over the steel ah uh, that's no we don't want that here get get back on steel man Oh, wait a minute. What? Hold on. Steel. Aluminum. Platinum. Iron. Refined. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Okay, so... Apparently it... Prioritized... I don't know why I did that. Okay, well, let's just put all this stuff back in the anvil for now, then. I'm not going to get rid of the forge. I'm going to hang on to it. God only knows why. I guess I'm hanging on to it because... Um, we might need it again sometime. Or maybe we might want to get two forges going and call in a screamer or something. I don't know. Oh, only those of you who play Seven Days to Die got that reference, but... <laughs> anyway, okay, I digress. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just put this charcoal <coughs> back in here for now. Okay, so we have enough ingots. Now, let's go here and... Let's make ourselves a steel pickaxe. Boom, baby. All right. Now, do we have... Here, let me look in here for a second. Okay, so we can make the platinum pickaxe in here. We just need the ingots, which we can make in here by just sticking platinum in there. It's going to take five ore for one ingot, so it's going to be a little more expensive, but I'm down with that, man. Okay, so let's let this finish making all these other steel ingots because um, if my my plan to jump right to platinum doesn't work we're probably going to need to make more steel tools and um, let's grab our new uh, steel pickaxe very cool and let's compare the two so the steel does here, tool tip 36 to 40 no I don't care about that 65 mining mining radius and 130 percent yield versus 60 and 125 okay so it's not hugely better but it's better and that's all we can ask of it uh here let's re repair this and we'll store it away for a rainy day okay good deal i'm gonna put uh these extra ingots in here and we're going to, let's put our fire whacker back down there. I don't really know if we even need that anymore, but we still have it. And uh, I need a drink of water, so let's get a drink of water. Okay. And we need to eat. And we need a hit of O2. Very good. All right, let's sleep. Can I sleep near an active campfire? Wait, what? Oh, it was... Oh, it was considering our forge an active campfire. Okay. Oh, no. 
This is just out. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. All right, let's fire this guy back up again. I guess we're storing charcoal in here. Well, it's, it's going anywhere we burn wood. There we go. Okay, it is now manana. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our steel pick out, and we're going to get some platinum from one or more of the caves. So let's see. We need a total of five ore to make, I guess, one ingot. Okay, and how many ingots do we need to make the pick? We need 12. So we need 60 ore. So we need to come back with 60 platinum ore. Okay. Let's do it. Um, so I'm going to run to the cave over by where the polar bear ate us first. That's actually, I think, the closest cave to our base anyway. So we'll hit that one first. And there's actually multiple platinum and some aluminum nodes in there anyway. So we'll grab those first and then we'll see where we're at. And we need a minimum of 60 platinum ore. All right, I'm sure we're going to have to fight new cave worms. So let's just run in and start wackadoodling on them. All right. Um, ah, shit, he hit us. I can't get to him. There we go. All right. You're dead, you bastard. Is there one more somewhere? I think there's going to be one more back here. Let's nail him and then we'll take our antidote thingamadoodle. Is that it? Or is there one more? It's a decent sized cave. Oh, yep, there is one more. We got him. Okay. Yeah, and go away. All right. Let's take our last poison uh, paste thingamadoodle. Oh, wait a minute. We're not poisoned. Never mind. We don't need to. Just realize that. Okay, so, um, like I said, there's a few platinum nodes in this cave. I uh, don't think there's anything up this close. Here's one right here. Okay, so let's throw that down there and grab our steel pick. Oh, no, this is titanium. Okay, well, we'll grab this, too. I'm sure we're going to need this for something at some point. Um, okay. Uh, that's a little tiny bit of iron that I couldn't reach. That was before I came back with the ramp and then I forgot about it, so that's fine. Let's come back here. That's the last copper, and I don't think I'm going to grab it because I already feel like I have too much copper as it is. Okay. What's this? More titanium. Hmm. Maybe... I, I know there's platinum in the very first cave that we went in. I think. <laughs> I hope there is. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was titanium. I could have sworn it was platinum, though. Okay, here. Let's see if we can get up around here. If we can't, we're going to try the ramp trick. Usually I can get up there. There we go. Okay. All right, we got the rest of that. Um, I don't think there's anything over this way. Run and jump. There we go. Okay, nothing that way. Come up here, and then run and jump up here. There we go. Okay, here's some aluminum. We should be able to get this. I just have to mine by braille here. <laughs> uh, a little 
piece here. There we go. Got all of that. Okay, what's this? Please tell me this is platinum. Why can't I get the... Ah, shit, we got pneumonia. Nope, it's still titanium. Hmm. Okay. Here, let me um, actually drop that. So I can see what I'm doing, and you can see what I'm doing. That's also titanium. Okay, we got all of that. Um, okay. Well, I was, uh, thought we had a bunch of platinum in here, and it turns out we don't. I think there's one more aluminum somewhere over around on this side. Maybe? Maybe not. That's titanium too, isn't it? I uh, sure is. Well, are there titanium tools? I don't remember seeing those. Uh, right here. Okay, we got the rest of that. I thought there was one more aluminum in this cave. All right, let's go back this way again. It was not towards the front. I might be thinking of one of the other caves because I've been in several caves by now. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's probably titanium too. Here, get, um, come back this way. All right, now we've done it. Oh, okay, we're unstuck now. Your dude seems to get stuck really easy in this game, I've noticed. All right, well, let's get this. I mean, we're getting good XP for it. And like I said, I'm sure we're going to need it for something. There, got it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a completionist. I hate leaving stuff behind like that. Even though we did leave a little copper behind before, but... All right, I must be thinking of a different cave because I don't see any more aluminum in here. Okay, well, um, let's head on out, take a drink of water here. And I'm going to go back to the very first cave that we were at because I really thought that one had platinum in it. So I will see you guys over there. All right, I threw the titanium in the furnace. Man, it takes a long time to do a titanium ingot. Um, let's, let's get the gold back in there too, but not the copper. I'm saving a little bit of raw titanium ore. I don't know if I will need it for anything, but we're saving it. Okay, so let's let that work on its thing. Let's take a hit of O2 here. We still have a little pneumonia left to deal with, but can't do anything about it. It is what it is. Um, before we head back out, I do want to harvest the garden here. Because if you don't, then the produce in it just goes, starts to go bad, and it doesn't automatically replant itself. Uh, that should pop in in just a second here. It's very close. Uh, we got some corn. Good. And we got the coffee beans and the uh, cocoa seed. And the soybeans. Not sure what we're going to actually use that stuff for yet, but I'm growing it. Some berries. I really I really probably don't need to be growing these berries, but... I mean, we can change it up later, you know. I'm mostly doing it just for the fruit salad. Okay. Oh, I forgot to pull the rest of those out. Uh, yeah, there we go. If you put stuff in there while there's stuff up here, it doesn't actually plant the seed. I've noticed. Got a little bit of weed action going here. I wish we could single click with alt, but it doesn't doesn't work that way. So I just have to double click it. 
Well, not double click it, but click it in and then click it back out again. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I don't necessarily need to be growing this stuff either because it's all over the place, but we're doing it anyway. We are doing it anyway. Okay, so let's put all of this stuff in here. And we can now make some more delicious fruit salad. And we'll put our water things in there and we'll make some delicious creamed corn. We'll get ourselves a full stack of this. And we'll, uh, do we need, yeah, we need to eat. So let's, this one's about ready to go bad. So let's eat that one. And then this one's about ready to go bad. Put that back away and then we'll eat, whoops, no, that's not what I meant to do. Eat some meat too. And we don't need this fiber with us. Okay, let's go to the next mine, which is out this way. And see if that was indeed platinum that I thought I saw in there. I have a sneaking suspicion. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was titanium. But we'll find out. Okay. <clears throat> this is a small cave. There's only one worm that spawns in here. He did. Okay. Now, where was it that I thought I saw platinum? Um, here? It is platinum. I wasn't dreaming. All right. So we need 60 of this. Um, here. I can't throw my torch down in the water. Can we get up here and just toss it right there? Oh, good. Good. I was so worried. I mean, it looks very similar. I was so worried that this was going to be titanium, too. Okay, did we get every last piece of it? Okay, how much did we get? 29. Okay, we're going to need to find one more node of this, or maybe even two more nodes of this. Uh, what is that? I think that's one piece of gold left over. Yep, it is. Okay. Right, I believe there's some coal up there, but we don't really need that right now. Well, you know what? What the hell? Let's grab it, then we don't have to ever come back in here again. Okay, so the other cave that I have been in is kind of up to the uh, over to the east here. So let's run over to that one and hope and pray we can find at least 60 platinum. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we're going to have multiple worms in here to fight. Uh, get this one. And get this one. Okay, did we get them all? Alright, they did poison us. Uh, but it's, it's not stacked, so I think I'm going to let, just let it wear out. Okay, so I know I left some higher level ores in here. I just don't remember what they were. So that's probably titanium. Yep. Okay, let's grab it. Okay. Don't see anything along there. Drink some water. There's some coal. All right, that's probably copper. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Where are you at, you bastard? There you are. Go away. That is copper, too. Crap. Okay. That might be platinum up there. The platinum kind of looks like the copper a little bit. Um, all right. Can I... There we go. Oh, oh, no. Stop bouncing. Nope, it's still titanium. Shit. Okay, so we got all of that. 
Uh, might as well get this coal. Ooh. Platinum! Yes! Please, we need 31 pieces. Please, please, please. Okay, that's all of it. How much do we get? Uh, 59. We are one shy, guys. Can you believe that? One shy. Oh my goodness. Alright, well here's some aluminum. Let's grab it. And we got pneumonia. Yeah, yes. Oh, by the way, I did find out that it's the antibiotic paste that fixes pneumonia. So at some point we should probably get that. Alright, well, um, I don't remember what else is left in here, so let's just keep looking around. That's probably copper, right? Uh, five. Copper, yeah. I just don't really want to grab any more copper right now. There's some gold. What is this? Um, titanium. Okay. Guess we'll grab the gold. Okay, anything else up and around in here? Uh, this is actually iron. I might as well grab it, too. Um, anything else up back around in here? Just that copper. Right? That is copper, yeah. Okay. Well, alright, I guess that's it. I don't know... I haven't discovered any more caves other than the one that's like a day's travel away from here. So, I guess what I'm going to have to do is keep looking, uh, you know, for more caves and look for more platinum. Um, if we ever get to the point where we need more copper, there is like f something like four more nodes of it in here. But I've already got it coming out my ears, so I'm not going to mind that unless, like I said, I come... I come to realize I'm going to need it later. So, all right, let's top off our water here and get out of here, man. Stupid pneumonia. All right, well, I'm going to head back to the base, guys, um, since I'm really full here and drop off what I do have, get get the platinum that we, uh, we do have started smelting. And then um, I'm going to keep looking for a cave and... Uh, more specifically, keep looking for a cave that has platinum in it. And once I find more platinum, I will bring you guys back and we will start the next episode making, hopefully, uh, at least a platinum pick. I'm, I'm, I know for sure now we're going to have to go with a steel axe and probably a steel knife for now uh, because the platinum is super rare. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did... Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.